I dated a guy for four months, but he don't call me. Write to me often, maybe once a week, maybe. Feels like he doesn't want to be with me. Should I cut him off? He's hot and cold. Well, yeah, I mean, I would pull back a bit, right? And start start, start looking at dating other people. I mean, it's one of those things. It, you need to communicate what your needs are, right? Like, it, it, it's another one of those things where if you're in a situation and this person, you know, I don't know anything more about your situation other than this one sentence that you <laughs> that you put on here. But uh, a lot of people, they have their own ideas about what relationships look like, you know, what they want. You know, I don't even know if you're in a relationship. I don't know if you're physically intimate with him or not. Let's assume that you are. Let's assume that you're physically intimate and that you're not in a relationship because that seems to be a common theme <laughs> these days in our community. And... So if that's the situation, what you need to do is you need to communicate with him and find out what's going on. It's been four months, which is a pretty long period of time. And, you know, if if you need certain things in the relationship, you need to talk to him about it. You need to communicate. You need to find out why he does what he's doing, right? Why Why is he, you know, only messaging you once a week, right? Like calling, especially in this day and age, isn't actually very common. Most people, men and women, prefer texting because it's easy, it's quick, it's short. And if you want him to call you and if you want him to message you more than once a week, and I don't even know if you're meeting up with each other because it doesn't say, <laughs> it doesn't say at all whether you're even meeting each other. So it's one, one, I need more information about your situation. And two, you need to communicate what your needs are and what's going on with you and find out what's going on with him and communicate with him and talk to him about, you know, what's going on in his life and, you know, uh, you know, what his kind of outlook is on all this. And that's, that's really what you need to do before you start cutting things off or becoming scarce or doing any of that kind of stuff because he's already scarce. So if you go scarce, it's going to be no communication at all. And, and so if this is somebody that you really like, which it sounds like, otherwise you wouldn't be talking about him at all, then you need to, you need to have real communication with him. Nothing trumps real communication.